Okay, hi guys. We are here at Foritech Online TV that is proudly sponsored by Foritech IT Solutions. And if you haven't subscribed, please make sure that you do subscribe and don't forget to click on the notification button so that you never miss on any content that we keep on posting here. And also, please don't forget to also subscribe on Bon Shaker TV. So as we are here, please take note that the views and opinions expressed in this show are ours and do not reflect on the views of Foritech Online TV. With me today, I have your girl B. And what is it that we have today for you guys is the craziest divorces mm -hmm. of all time. So actually, your girl B is the one who literally had come up with this i was like you know what is trending <laughs> apparently this and this and this and we're like okay no problem maybe it is something that we should discuss about looking at the divorce rates that are there and the reasons why people get married and get divorced and we realize that okay there's a whole lot of things so i'll give her because she's the one who knows a lot about this matter to Spice things up for us before we can be able to do what? To chow on the beef. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Um, so there's this um, divorce, a craziest divorce that is um, trending on Twitter. So these two couple met, uh, I think it was during 1994. So they met... Um, in some entertainment in Don Tony and then they started dating they got married 1994 four months later they went to um, Rep um what? Dominic. Dominican Republic, Dominic Republic yes for their um, um, honeymoon so the men divorced uh, the wife so it's Gabriel and Christina so Gabriel divorced Christina without Christina knowing. Apparently, in Dominican Republic, that's the only country where you can divorce your partner without them knowing. Oh, okay. Yes. So 20 years later, Christina filed for a divorce. And then she was so surprised when the lawyer told her that, no, you are not married. You were divorced 20 years ago. So all along, she's been thinking that she's in a relationship with Gab um She's married to Gabriel, where else she's not. Gabriel uh, divorced her four months later after the wedding. Wow. <laughs> wow, guys. Like, this is a big wow. Yeah, you are telling yourself that you are a married woman mm -hmm. or even a married man we go for our honeymoon you know you now decide to take a lift in file for divorce and 20 years later i find out as a woman that mm -hmm. i'm divorced and i read that oh gabriel when asked why did he do that, he was like, no, he knew that one day um, she's going to want to divorce him for his, his money. money. Yeah. Um, I think, um, I don't know, how old, 20 years or was it 30 years older? Oh, 20 yeah. years younger. No, no. Uh, Christine is 30 years younger. Younger yeah. than, than him. So I think it makes sense whereby we've seen that most, or let me say the narrative that has always been pushed out there is that young women or yeah we young women actually want or get interested in getting married to older and rich men mm -hmm. because we know that in the long run when you file for divorce you're probably going to get a lump sum uh, settlement maybe that's what she had in her mind but do you think she will stay for that long if the only thing that she wanted was the big... Yeah. Remember, I mean, what's 20 years? At the end of the day, it's more about when you are out there for something. And now I will bring this again. Chavo Bestia. 
But then she's still left he's with but, nothing. He's, but even if she's now left with nothing, it's fine. But she never thought. It, 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 like, I don't think you could ever be happily married mm. or get married and then think that the whole, the whole entire time you inside a marriage and you are divorced. I don't think there's any person who could put that in mind. And I've been seeing on social media the comments from uh, people saying, wow, this is smart. Oh, my goodness. So now everybody seems like they want to go to the Dominican and they're like, if you get married and your husband is like, our honeymoon is going to be in the Republic of Dominic, Dominic, then it means maybe that person is going to file for divorce. Um, there have been a lot of crazy uh, divorces and things like mm -hmm. that. Kim Kardashian got married to, is it Chris? Yeah, if Chris, I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. a basket, was it a basketball player or baseball player? They divorced after three months. Um, yeah, 72 day, 72, yeah, was it 72 day? Yeah, 72 days, three within, months. Like, so, days. yeah, so there's so many people, people do this and that just so that they know that within this space, maybe I'm going to get something. I'm not saying that. But why, that is what people why do. initiate a wedding if you know that you don't even want to last in that marriage? Things come. Um, and I know maybe people will be like, okay, I'm saying one, two, and three. Personally, I'm not about getting married, personally. Mm -hmm. Not because I'm like, what if maybe I divorce one day? Or no? mm -mm, it's not there. I just feel like if maybe you just want to be with a person, whether the ring is there or it isn't there, I know you guys will be looking at this, whether the ring is there or not there, um, for me, if we just feel like me and you are okay together and we find the way that we are, if that is what can happen and those things be like that, lifelong is fine. But if it happens, I get married. I always say I will. my wedding vows will never be till death do us part. It will be till problems do us part. That is for me. I am not saying you guys, but it's an idea. Till problems do us part. Because I also read, going back to Christina and Gabriel, Gabriel said that also she he could tell that, oh, Christina is a very jealous person. So this man already could tell, already could see that once upon a time to come, things are going to crumble. So for me to be on the safe side, let me protect what is but mine? But there's no way that you could see that in a period of four months. You know, like when you start dating, a eh, relationship is where that honeymoon phase. There's no way that how you long? See. How long did they date? The age difference between the two of them. You said is how many years? It's thirty years. Thirty years. So you mean that this man didn't know anything about relationship in a space of thirty years? That woman was no, not I'm his first girlfriend. Right That's now, what I'm, I'm saying. I'm about the divorce that happened in the period of four of, months. Now, how, after they got married. how long did they know each other? That's what I'm saying. Despite that, looking at his age and his experience, mm -hmm. if you know, just like parents, if you have four kids, this first kid has showed you flames. The second one will also show you flames. When the third one but comes, why would you still would continue marrying her? If he has seen the kind of person, Shof, Shof for Mahala, I a person to take care of you, I'm going to go back to a few to a conversation oh, that with me. this man. He played his cards well, according to his own mind. That you know what? Let me divorce because I can tell that in the long run, and maybe looking at past um, divorce issues and settlement that mm -hmm. have been there. Women now, you will come, if you've married a younger woman, most of the time when she leaves you, really, at times you find yourself losing a whole lot. Mm -hmm. So rather, now, let me just, mm -mm, then whatsoever she came with in the relationship is fine. That's why I will always say that when we get married, what is mine is mine. What is yours is mine. Or maybe we can say what is yours is yours. But so if he saw that and maybe he was also 
that in a relationship, I can never say that everything is going to be one-sided. Mm -hmm. Whatever you put in, you will also see if the person will reciprocate on that. So if maybe um, Gabriel saw that no man, this woman, there are things that will always be red flags. Because he was old, it's fine. But then you've got so many, like he, he had so many options. If he didn't want to marry him under like community of purpose, there's prenup and so on and so on. He could have just made a research. Just Remember, to know. when you do all so the then it was he it was going to be Christine's decision if she still wants to continue with the wedding, even if maybe she's getting married under the prenup. He wanted right to be district about Gabriel it. Gabriel was so selfish for twenty years. He was selfish. He, listen, listen. Christine has been referring Gabriel as the husband. Imagine you telling people that I'm married for 20 years and only to find out that the husband uh, divorced you. If you what if there was another uh, Gabriel why, out there who was waiting for Christine? Why and did who, the, who filed for marriage? the divorce now? Gabriel filed for... Why? No, no, no Christine, Christine filed right? for a divorce why? 20 years later. Wait, why? We don't know the reason. That's why I'm saying. So if a person was on the lookout for their own things, looking at, you guys know my line, the way things are or the things that are happening in this world, mm -hmm. we see how we women, and when I'm saying we, I don't want to exclude myself. I'm trying to stand up for also some women out there how we women can connive and do some things just because you want the wealth of your man or the wealth of your late husband or even if your husband that is a we women out there are very slick to stay with a person just so that at the end of the day we are going to acquire something that's the reason why now i quoted what you said not so long ago I that what what and you I don't very did well it kill her is she dead no, she's not. All I'm saying is yeah. there was another Gabriel out there if who wanted to play a part of being Christine's newly wedded husband. For me, it but doesn't because of even... Gabriel was there and Avala, no, Lesos Kalales, I don't think Christine that happened. Was like, I mean, Probably this man, maybe if he was married before, I don't know. I, I, I didn't really like look up who he really is or the things that they do on one, two, and three. But if maybe, let's say, he was once married or things like that, usually old married men, once they even move on and things like that, they make sure that now they put everything and put it intact. But why Especially, even marry someone you don't trust? That's where clearly I am, there were trust mm, issues in the relationship. That's why now I why will bring... The, so now that's why I'm saying people will forever have put themselves first. This man decided to do the very same thing put himself first, mm -hmm. put what he feels like, no, I don't think this, this thing might not last. He may have his own reasons, which are valid to him. But why continue and with the wedding? That's my question. They I'm, got, not no, that, remember, I'm not saying that wait, um, he's they got, wrong by putting wait, himself they got first. Married, I but all I'm saying is, why continue with the marriage if you no, know that, you wait, know what, they we're got, not going to go anywhere with this. But Tabila, I can get married to Samson today, two weeks later, he can cheat on me. And our honeymoon is in the next two months. So are you going to divorce Samson? No, I'm saying, <laughs> look at it that way. And after me finding out that Samson cheated or whatsoever, I decide to do what? Let me keep quiet because I also don't want to bring shame or being laughed at and be like, okay, you know what? It's fine. Since this thing happened, this mm. is what I'm going, how I'm going to do it. Remember also with men, men are not like us women. We women, you can keep quiet and whatsoever and it can take your time. Mm. It's just that Gabriel, whatsoever he saw, hence I said you may never know what happened because usually a honeymoon happens right after, right? We get married, then we leave after the wedding, mm -hmm. maybe a day or two days. Yeah. This honeymoon was four months later. In that space of four months, 
you would have showed me so many red flags that can make me now think otherwise. Mm -hmm. And for me to be like, no, let me go and divorce this woman because you don't know what she was now saying. Maybe she was now in the castle saying, oh, I'm the first lady. So now we are changing things are going to be like this. And Gabriel was like, okay, no, this is not it. Some people, you can be with a person for 10 years, but you will only see their true colors five years later. Mm -hmm. You can be in a relationship now with a person. Now we get married, he changes. So that's why I always say I would rather not get married because of the way how people interpret how marriage is or how it should be. You get married, families are involved in all those things. Right now, if I'm girlfriend and boyfriend, your family can never tell me to wear a scarf if I don't want to. But now if I'm a wife, maybe... so. He, Oh, 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 Gabriella, probably, Gabrielle, probably so things and so that, no, this is not going to last. Plus, I don't know if he's got kids or he was married before or things like that. And maybe that made him say that, no, if this thing happens, this woman will probably make sure that I die without a trace and she will have everything. Men are also smart on that. No, the way women are so cruel, is that what you say? We, we are cruel. I mean, till this day, we are, be, we, we are forever blamed between what happened uh, between Adam and Eve. Eve is the one who did one, two, and mm. three. So I would not actually say a man shouldn't think like that or shouldn't go to that extent of wanting to protect what is his. Now I will bring up uh, the Moroccan soccer player, Hakimi who just now got divorced or the divorce is still um, in, progress. in progress and find out that after the divorce, everything he doesn't have, he doesn't own anything. Um, allegedly 80% or it's between 80% or everything is under his mm -hmm. mom. Now you ask yourself how. I saw so many men when that thing came were like, oh, this guy is so smart. He even gained 3 million uh, followers more. 3 million more followers on Instagram uh, because of what broke out. And I then read a story that apparently, and uh, not that the woman just came in out of nowhere and said, no, I want to divorce. He had cheated. Allegedly, he cheated. And the wife was like, mm -mm. And there have been still more stories whereby once we have actually got the facts, I think then that's when we can actually say this is what it is mm -hmm. to avoid being sued. So all those things. So many men and some women were applauding him for what he did, putting everything under your mom and whatnot, whatnot. Now the wife filed for divorce. Was and it his first like wedding ever since? Yes. He's Maybe 24. it might happen that he yes. didn't do it purposefully he's 24 he, years the old. moment like the first time he started working he put everything that belongs to him under his mom because at the same but time he didn't have anyone like he didn't have can you work a girlfriend for or whatsoever no besides, or maybe he was how do you open an account for your mom and money is coming to you first of all i'm not trying i just i i read something as well as just i didn't want to bring it up Firstly, we're talking about a soccer player. There is no money that maybe now, instead of the money coming to me, mm -hmm. will now go to another account. Even if maybe it was going to his account, the, the amount that he gets paid, mm -hmm. you can't just transfer so much money at a go or whatsoever. But I don't want to get into those things because we live in different countries, so you may never know the laws. But those are insights that people were bringing up and saying it doesn't make sense uh people were applauding him yes 24 years old the woman decided no mm -mm, because he cheated and things like that and now um it seems as if she has to now pay him because it looks like she's the one who's got more money so you see on that it raises a lot of questions like is this man very heartless even though the argument saying this is what men should do um involve your family put your family in all that but 
at the same time you look at those people have been married so now the marriage is going to collapse and you're not going to get anything like is it really fair well that's a question that i'm asking you viewers do you guys think it's actually fair for the for her if she's not going to get anything and if she should get any like monetary uh, support why does she have to get it because as i said i would rather not get married then i know that even if at some point we divorce i am not expecting anything from you so with all that sorry gabrielle or christina um if she, she she was divorced and everything but i'm sure that there is going to be some sort of settlement maybe some sort of settlement if maybe she has valid reason well that's what i believe not knowing the reasons why they actually divorced because that's why i was asking what is the reason for them to divorce i only have um gabriel's reason that he 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 felt like at a later, at, at a later stage christine will file for a divorce but that, that was now 20 years yes. ago so now the, i'm saying the, that's what i'm saying now we don't have a reason for her at the moment I don't, we don't have any reason why she wanted to fight for a divorce. But then the only reason that we have is Gabrielle's reason why he divorced her without knowing. Well, if she saw it coming, well, he probably had a vision, you know, and a vision I don't came. think she saw it coming. You no, can as never in see he, No, I mean him. Oh. Maybe he had a vision way back and he saw it, but he just maybe didn't want to um fumble the wedding because planning a wedding at times doesn't take two days or a day but mine if i decide to get married on friday i'm planning it tomorrow on friday i'm getting married i'm just saying but maybe he saw it coming and he was preparing himself maybe he just wanted i don't want to say he wanted proof of anything but at the end of the day he knows why um my advice to people out there is don't get married maybe with the um, thought that if you guys divorce this is the money that you're going to get or the settlement that we're going to get we all know that we all want to secure the bag but this is when we need to also open our eyes as women out there. If you're trying to secure the bag, at least let a house be in your name. Two cars, three cars. If there are 10 fleets of cars, at least three, two or three of those cars be in your name. When your husband is going somewhere to sign, go with him. Interact yourself so that you can know that even if things go left, you mentioned that maybe there was now another Christina in the mm -hmm. picture. So you see, it could have been much more easier if there's another Christina in the picture, the Christina that wants to come and take whatever is there. At least you also know that you have something in your own name because I believe that's the smart way of securing the bag. Mm. Those are tips for free tips for free don't only secure the bag when it's nice because that's when we women tend to fumble yeah but i think these things the more they happen the more we learn something new it is teaching a lot of us on how to handle this marriage things handling your accounts what's in your name whatsoever guys let's just learn something from Gabriel and Christine. <laughs> and also there's something from Hakimi. But then ah, you know, not move. even we, we may not even go far. Coming back here years ago, Kanyimbao and Manda. Exactly. Mm -hmm. They were living a lavish life. Everything, you know, things went left and um they fell, obviously. But from that, I'm so glad that Kanye always says she also learned a lesson from that. Mm -hmm. Always be able to keep something also for yourself. Be smart, you know. 
um, you, I mean, if you're renting an apartment for 2 million rent, you know, you're renting an apartment for 2 million rent, why can't I say, baby, let's buy a stand, you know? Let's buy a stand, buy a stand for me rather than renting an apartment, you know? But then she was still young, but at least she managed to get a Lamborghini. Mm, hence, <laughs> no, she, she she drove, she was the youngest African mm -hmm. to actually even drive a Lamborghini. Hence, I'm saying she also learned from her mistakes that rather acquire than going to rent. Because now, for you to be paying rent for me, one million rands mm -hmm. every month, than buying a stand and building a house, it's so much better. So that's what I'm trying to say that, you know, you said that we learn from these things. So how ways to how you can maneuver your way around, not that we are promoting it, but we're just adding some. If it helps you do it. Exactly. If it helps you do it. So that is what we had for one of the craziest divorces that is actually trending online. If you have more information, please don't be scared or don't have some shivers comment and your comments we would actually really appreciate to actually read them out so from us at Boytech online